Hi, this is Ed Davis, and what we're talking about today is Gravit Designer. I'm on the Gravit website, and as you can see, they have a Designer, which is a vector drawing program, and they have Gravit Clex, which is similar in a way to the old Microsoft Publisher. Now, I have already added Gravit as an app in my Chrome apps, and I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, we're going to come to a basic screen where you can pick a new design. Uh, you can go on the Gravit Cloud and get a template. Okay, you can open from the computer. We're going to pick a new design. And I am going to type in the width of 600 pixels by 600 pixels. And I am going to click Create. Now, as you can see on the screen, we have our bit square. Um, over in the left corner, we have a layers panel, a libraries panel, and if you draw something and group it and want to keep it as a symbol, you can add something to the symbols panel. Um, what a lot of kids are going to be using in my class is the shapes library, where you can see you can drag a basic shape onto the screen. You can fill it with a color from the swatches. Okay, we and you can go to the mixer and get different tints, shades, and tones. Some of the Illustrator keyboard shortcuts work. I'm going to press V, and I'm going to hit Control X, and that will eliminate the square from the canvas. Now, when I click on the canvas, I can come over here and I can set a background color. So, if I wanted to have a teal background, I would click here. I can go to the mixer like I showed before, and lighten it or darken it. You can also choose gradient instead, and you have all different fills that you can put directly on the canvas. You can also click on the canvas if you want. And what we can do, let's go back to a basic white so that we can see better. There we go. And what I'm going to do here is show you that you can also click and turn on a grid with vertical and horizontal lines or for one of my projects I like to have an isometric grid. You can see here that the size is 20 pixels and the angles are plus 30 and minus 30 degrees. Um, when you're working in Gravit Designer you have some menus up here so that you can zoom in and out. You have some basic drawing menus um, you have some rotations to uh, transform objects, and one of my favorites, you have the compound shapes menu with group and split up here. To save a file in Gravit, you would go to save to file is the one that I always use, and this will allow me to save to my PC, or if I'm on Chromebook, this will bring me directly into my Google Drive. So that's the basics of graphic designer and starting a new document and working with the canvas. Thank you.